This is Gabriel for Cage Side Press here with Chance Rencounter, the Black Eagle fighting this Saturday at UFC 239. How does somebody get a nickname that awesome? Uh, it actually is my, uh, my my native name, I'm Osage in Cheyenne River Sioux, so it comes from my, my tribal name, so it's uh, Wajin Salpe is what it is, and it translates to the black part of the eagle, so we, we uh, all the elders told me to translate it to Black Eagle, so that's where I got that from, so I take that warrior spirit in there with me. Now, of course, uh, having a background like that, people are aware, you know, the, the reservation and all that, are they all still about gathering on Saturday night and watching you and supporting you in droves? Oh, for sure, uh, for sure. That's it's one of the biggest supporters I got. You know, everybody back home, you know, and the natives and non-natives uh, love what I do. I come from a small town, so seeing a small town guy make it to the UFC and do what I do is uh, it's amazing, and I get so much, you know, recognition and respect, and everybody, you know, uh, appraise from from my back back home, and it's 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 an amazing experience. It's cool. Now you were on a big win streak, had a you know speed bump, and then you're back on track. Is that in your mind you want to go on another one of these long streaks? Is there pressure to kind of string them together that way again? Uh, not so much pressure. That's what I want to do. You know, I mean, that's just part of this game. And if I keep winning, I want to get re-signed and I want to keep continuing with this career. You know, it's great money and uh, I'd like to, you know, make more. And if the more wins we get, the more money we get. So that's a, that's a big drive in my eyes. And uh, I'd like to, you know, give my daughter things that I never had and I was unable to, you know, my mom wasn't able to provide for me, so now I can, you know, hopefully with this career I can take it. And who doesn't mind not working a nine to five? You know what I mean? Like you can't beat that. <laughs> what do you think you would be doing if you weren't a professional fighter? I used to frame house. I'd, I'd be running construction, running my own business, uh, framing houses for a living, or any time, any type of construction. Honestly, I wouldn't mind doing anything. I get my hand in a little bit of anything, but uh, definitely, you know, definitely framing houses or doing something of that nature. Yeah, talking about Ismail on Saturday night, what's the biggest threat he poses to you as an opponent? Uh, he's, he's explosive. He's an athletic guy, man. He's young. He's he's, he's definitely hungry. He took it. He got a lot. Got a good win this last fight. So, I'm uh, I'm excited for it. But uh, you know, he's a great kickboxer. So there's there's things that he's got. There's attributes he's got, and there's attributes I got. So we're gonna we're gonna stylistically match up. I think I think it favors in my way. You know. So we'll see we'll see how it goes Saturday. Uh, Chance, we're looking forward to another great one. Best of luck on Saturday.